If you like the following content, please leave a tip at buymeacoffee forward slash Whitley. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Technology Investment Investigations. Today we're diving deeply into the fascinating world of technology investments, a journey of slipping into a virtual world of Tron or experiencing the mind-bending realities of Lawnmower Man. Okay, they're probably not the best films to kind of reference, but I thought, well, you'll be intrigued and you're going to be in for a treat today. So before we explore Microvision Inc, let's set the stage with a industry to revolutionize our lives. Think of self-driving cars navigating city streets like characters in a futuristic blockbuster, or augmented reality transforming your surroundings, much like Google's ambitious attempt with Google Glass, or Meta's interesting vision of the metaverse. Let's build it hard-earned dollars. Okay, so the idea of augmented reality has been around for quite a while now. I remember films and TV programs going back to the late 70s where they described kind of computers changing the way we see the world. Microvision is one of those companies. So let's focus on Microvision Inc, our main protagonist in this tech tale. Imagine a company that's a true pioneer in the field of augmented reality and sensing solutions. An underdog compared to the tech giants like Google and Meta, it was founded in 1993. It's been at the forefront of developing laser beam scanning technology. Now we have reviewed companies in the past that have done something similar for cars um, and for scanning various environments through drones and things like that. Now this is often referred to as LBS, Laser Beam Scanning Technology, and this company has been at the forefront of developing that. Their journey has been filled with highs and lows akin to the heroes in your favourite science fiction adventures. So let's delve into some SWOT analysis and look at the strength of the company, the weakness of this company, the opportunities of the market for this company and of course the threats that the market holds to this company and whether this is actually worth your investment or even your time considering it. So cast your minds back to last year when we did a review of Validine Lidar Inc. Same kind of principle, it's a company which specializes in a version of augmented reality in which lasers are used to scan the environment in 3D in real time in order to map it so that various autonomous events can take place with computers or drones or cars or whatever else it needs to do. So if you look at what this company can do, uh, looking at its products, um, it has some decent things coming out. Um, it has the Mavin with Perception, which is an object detection and clarification and tracking system. Uh, it's a very simple box that basically fits onto the car um, and allows it to scan everything around it in real time. Safe mobility is basically how they're describing it. So let's picture a technology portfolio that rival Google's and Meta's ambitious endeavors. Microvision possesses the kind of tech that could rival the dazzling visuals in Tron. Don't ask me why I keep using the, these film metaphors. It's the only way I can kind of describe what's going on with these companies so that I can get my head around whether it's actually worth looking at properly. So their LBS technology is a game changer, allowing for augmented reality displays interactive display systems and probably a direct competition with Google's art core itself. Definitely a competition with anything Meta's doing. Meta is only going to get mentioned in this in this um, channel because it's such a big thing and it's got so much money behind it but personally I don't think its technology is really as creative as it uh, most people think it is which is why um, I will come down it, but I will always use a comparison for companies like this, which are doing much better. So let's imagine that vault filled with intellectual property, safeguarding their innovative ideas and products from competitors, like a fortress protecting the secrets of high-tech kingdom, a defense that Google and Meta have also meticulously built, but, and this is the big but, they're not doing as well at the moment. Google's only doing well because there's a lot of money behind it, and it's trying to change the legal environment so this technology can be used on the road but it doesn't produce the actual core components which is what microvision however it's not all sunshine and rainbows in this tech utopia microvision like many companies in this current climate has faced challenges that mirror the hurdles our heroes often encounter in our favorite science fiction films yes and like law mower man our hero is going to be corrupted by what's coming up because things are very difficult it's a challenge that Google and Meta have been grappling with in their AR ventures as well. It's a very difficult environment to get into. As much as I like the technology and how it's going together, it's going to struggle. 
Moreover, the market presence isn't as robust as Google or Meta's. These are giant companies, the giants that loom over the augmented reality landscape. Microvision treads a fine line between strength and vulnerability by relying on partnerships. Much like navigating the world of a sci-fi thriller, competing with Google and Meta for the market share is going to prove very, very difficult. Although, and this is the although, and something I don't normally put into this part of the, the uh, conversation, if it just concentrates on just doing the component parts rather than trying to control the entire market, they actually stand to make quite a bit of money in the future, assuming that the economies of the world do recover to take advantage of all this. So, there are obviously going to be supply chain issues coming up. There are possibilities of using alternative materials, and it does look like Microvision is exploring that. If you go through the website and you look at some of the resources and descriptions of what they're doing and how they're doing it. However, whether this works out or not, I don't know. It's an interesting company. It's been around since 1998. It first developed LiDAR in 2007. Uh, had a contract with Valio in 2010 and it's been mainly working with car manufacturers of European origin in North America. We try and look at how their financial um, outlook is going. I do do a little bit of this in this but I don't think it's worth kind of over egging what it's doing at the moment given the current state of the world markets and the way cash is moving between tech firms there is obviously some debt and there's quite a bit of money on the table this isn't a multi-billion dollar company this is a multi-million pound company and like all companies we don't seem to get dividends which is the one thing which drives me crazy but you're looking for an increase in share price given that the market is all the way down at the moment it is worth investigating i would not tell you to go in there and actually buy the company but it is definitely worth looking at uh, if we look at the charts they're doing all right they're a bit all over the place at the moment as we expect for this time of year it's now september 2023 um, go look yourself we'll carry on to basically doing the swot analysis outside of that so opportunities it's a picture of golden opportunity that could lead to groundbreaking developments a race with google and potentially meta for the futuristic world that we are going to be emerging into microvision has the potential to expand the presence of augmented reality applications and growing popularity directly challenging google's artificial reality ecosystem and definitely meta's metaverse imagine their lidar technology being integrated into various industries Currently we're seeing it in cars, we're seeing it in some delivery vehicles. Can we consider the idea that by diversifying their product portfolio, their new strategy could mitigate risks and allow them to capitalize on this emerging technology? A strategy that Google and Meta are obviously exploring, but they're doing it on such a scale that they could only own it on the big picture. My argument with this company is that if they produce the component parts, they would be like the Intel or the AMD of the PC market. They wouldn't produce the big PC, but they would produce the component parts, which allows them to kind of make their money in the future. Perhaps even they would be like more like ARM, which has just seen that big float on the stock market recently. Now let's discuss the threats facing Microvision, Google and Meta, all three companies live in the same ecosystem and are going to be affected by the same problems. So let's picture a scenario where they're like David facing Goliath, perhaps like navigating the unpredictable world of a science fiction thriller, but in a highly competitive landscape. They operate in the market where giants like Google <clears throat> and Meta eye the augmented reality space. Competition is fierce and being a small player can be challenging. It's a bit like navigating a dystopia where everybody's vying for do dominance and only a few will ever be able to come out on top. On top of this, there is the current economic uncertainties and that the severe market volatility that's looming over all of us, genuinely like a dystopia. The stability and growth of this company is threatened by that. And as long as they can keep their cash in the right place, I think there is a future there. And it's definitely a technology that we're going to see more and more of and that we're going to be living with every day in our lives. 
These threats are common for all the players though in this, this arena and it's a high stakes game. All tech stocks are struggling at the moment and Microvision Inc isn't one that's going to kind of get away with not experiencing some pain from what's taking place. Now obviously with the idea of artificial reality controlling vehicles and movement of goods that would be affected by legal parameters. That will only happen and affect microvision if that technology is shut down completely. It doesn't look like it's gonna happen. There's always gonna be some version of this technology being in use in the future. So I'm not gonna say that's a threat, but it is a potential threat and should be considered that at any moment, just as we've seen with cryptocurrencies, this technology could be stopped and there could be an assistance of, of a human operator directly doing everything and that nothing can be done with any form of LiDAR technology whatsoever. That's remote, but you should consider that it will be there. So in conclusion, Microvision Inc. stands as a formidable contender in the augmented reality arena, competed head-to-head -head with tech giants like Google, like Meta, like probably a dozen other companies out there that I've not mentioned. Their innovative LBS technology is a strength that sets them apart and their ambition is just as fierce as that as the big players. However, they must address production scalability and market presence, which is a severe issue for this company, to fully capitalize on their opportunities and to overcome the threats that they face. So remember, investing in any technology company can be a real adventure and I'm here to be your guide through this digital landscape. If you stick around to the end of your investment, you might just find that this journey has had a happy ending after all. So thank you for joining me today on this technology investment adventure, where Microvision, Google, and Meta have been competing and are competing in a real life science fiction adventure. Who knew we would see that day coming? So remember, investing in a complex game, it's essential to do your research before making any decisions. My advice, Stay informed, stay curious, and consider subscribing to this channel for more insightful investigations. And if you enjoyed this content, please consider leaving a tip to support the channel's growth. Your support means the world to me. Until next time, this is Technology Investment Investigations signing off. Goodbye, and stay tech savvy. If you like the following content, please leave a tip at buy me a coffee forward slash Whitley.